Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of Elusive Age on the PC. Last time we explored the rest of the Champs Sauvage, uh, got ourselves a cool new weapon for Serena in the form of a really cool umbrella that looks really pretty. And we also checked out the town of Phenomenon, where apparently there's a mural that gives a whole bunch of people luck because it's awesome. And yeah, we can't go over there because, well, we just can't, and that guy's taunting me with his uh, superiority complex that he's got going on there with his house that we can't get to. I'm kind of curious if they, like, put... Actually, can... We can get over there. What, what am I talking about? I'm an idiot. I didn't see the freaking stairs over there because I'm a moron. Wait, did, did we already go over there and I just forgot? You know, I think we might have gone over there already and I'm just an idiot. Yeah, I think we re I think we already went up here and I just... Forgot? Maybe you're skeptical about the mural's powers, but I'm telling you, she's a real deal. Real deal. She certainly brought me good fortune. Moving here was the best thing I ever did. Honestly, if you want to live a happy life, just give up all your adventures and settle down here. You won't regret it. But yeah, apparently I just forgot this was a thing. Okay. Yeah, there's probably a mini metal in here. Yeah. I'm an idiot. So if anybody's yelling yelling at me about that in the last episode, well, there you go. I figured it out. Even though there wasn't really anything to figure out, but still. Rab, you okay there? I hope you don't die from trying to get up these stairs, but frankly, I can see why you'd be uh, a bit apprehensive to keep climbing. These, these type of tables are never very comfortable in my opinion, but yeah, some people like them. You guys doing okay here? I now regret forever. Ah, give a bulk a second to think. Your sales pitch is too strong. I must resist the sales pitch. <laughs> Mother! <laughs> Father! Doesn't it just break your heart? The poor thing's lost her parents. Oh, don't cry, sweetie. It's all right. We'll help you find them. Now, why don't you tell me your name? Dora. M my name's Dora. I came here with my mother and father, but, but then they left me behind. They said the, the mural was going to make them rich, and, and then they just went. <laughs> Please help me. I want, I want them back so badly. <laughs> oh, there, there, little one. We'll find out where they've gone. Don't you worry. I'll take the town. You search the ruins, okay? Sure, why not? I knew you wouldn't let me down. Sylve's detective agency to the rescue. Let the search begin. I mean, they can't be too rich if uh, they have a daughter to look after because then they gotta buy her toys and stuff. So yeah, leaving the kid behind makes sense. Mother and father said the mural could make them rich and they went somewhere and didn't come back. Please help me, I want them back so badly. Eh, you'll be fine, kid. We'll figure it out. And if not, well, we'll, we'll figure it out. And if not, well, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, some of these guys just get a little exhausted, a little pooped. I can see why. Yeah, I think the tre uh I think the chest with the recipe is going to be down here. With the stuff that we can make. Yeah, I think it's actually... It's not you, because this is just locked. Yeah, it's not there, but... Oh, look at the cute little Mises. Can you feel it? I certainly can. Yes, yeah, some serious force emanating from the runes. You develop an awareness of these things when you've seen as much of the world as I have. By the way, did you know that person who discovered the mural in the runes disappeared in mysterious circumstances? Yeah, I thought that would get your attention. Huh? You're not interested in that? You want to help a little girl who's lost her parents? Ask someone else. I've got bigger fish to fry. You little ripper. I'm going to be loaded. <laughs> nope, this mural is crash hot. What the fuck? I don't know what crash hot is, but okay. Buns are... People have the weirdest, like, sayings in this game, but, you know, whatever. People are weird. Myself included. Hello, treasure chest. I think might be the one I'm looking for. Finally, knickknacks for knick knick 
nifty knackers, blood letters, sword breakers, thief turbans, robber gloves, gloomy gloves, nice. We'll go ahead and see if any of those are worth making. Oh well, a fellow scholar, don't ask me how I know, it's just a gift I have. You're here to investigate these runes as well, aren't you? But of course you are, you could resist the chance to poke around among the mysteries and now what? It's the last remaining relic of the long lost kingdom, you know? Just how does something like that happen, I hear you ask? How does an entire kingdom fall into ruins? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. Well, you find that out, I'm going to go fire up the old forge and make some stuff. Let's do that real fast. Alright, we got the blood letter, which, yeah, this was the other one that I was thinking about. Uh, nice, easy chance of killing enemies, 12%. I don't know if this would actually work on metal slimes. I, I feel like they would be immune to the instant death, so I never actually bothered with it. So, sword breaker... 8% chance of reducing the enemy's attack, up to 10% when it's up there, so... Yeah, this is reasonably worthwhile. Thief's Turban, which we've had for... I think we've had this for a while, haven't we? Wait, is that... That's the thing that you started off with, right, Jade? I think, I don't remember. And then, Robber Gloves, you can remake... You can remake those, and Gloomy Gloves for dark damage reduction, which is okay, but I don't really care about that. I care about the sword breaker, and we need twisted talons. Um, wait, who, who sells the twisted talons? Wait, who sells the twisted talons? I'm curious about that. Let me look and see who sells it. Okay, it's the uh, camp. It's the camp right outside of the, the, the Champs Sauvage camp. You know what? I'm just gonna go buy them right here because it just—it's just saving me a trip to the uh, two over there. So yeah, I'll just buy these to make the uh, the knives here, and we'll call it even. So there we go. Chisley puff to start. There we go. And double edge bash. Critical hits. Those are nice. Doubled. That's beautiful. Perfect. And a lightning bash. Brilliantly, yes. Well, we did not use those eagle daggers for long. <laughs> okay. I'm okay with that, though. Because these are nice. And they're useful. So. Do, 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 do. You had an 8% chance each to, to break the attack. That's not too shabby. Let's see, and... We can buy them for 5,500, so just having to buy the extra materials for 2,000, yeah, it's a pretty decent little discount here, so I'll take it. I think I... Yeah, I was going to say, I was, I'm not sure if I should bother keeping the Eagle Talons around. I'm not sure if we're going to need them at all, but... Yeah, I guess we don't need them, because... Yeah, we just don't really, I guess. Halved. Okay, so bash. You and lightning bash. Pretty well. How's that pretty well? Okay, that's fine, I guess. Right, I'll just give that one to his left hand. Or his right hand, because, well, we don't really care too much about it being super awesome. Perfecto. Alright, Thief's Turbans, we already had you. Gloomy Gloves, we're not worried about you. Uh, let's rework... Let's see... Yeah, let's rework your Tiara and your Strong Sam here. See if we can. Alright, Quadra... Okay, that did not work out at all, but whatever. Yeah, that's not going to be an improvement in the slightest. So, I did not need to do an extra Quadra Bash. So, I'm just going to take my take my lumps and just leave it like that. That's fine. If I decide to rework it later, I will. <laughs> but, uh, for shame, Poodle. For shame. Uh, let's hope we do better on the Strong Sim here. So, that'd be nice. If not, well, I tried.
There we go. And that kind of screws me over using Quadru... Dash. Okay, that works. Okay, I'll take it. Really well. Okay, good enough. I'll take it. Success. Alright, let's go ahead and give Eric his awesome new daggers of sword breakeriness, 154, and... Not quite what I was going for, but whatever. Uh, 102... Hmm, I'm trying to decide if I want to... Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say, let's keep the, um... Yeah, you know what? Let's keep the Eagle Dagger on, just for the possibility of that 3% chance of getting the surprise attack pops. And even if it does, we're not going to know if it's the, the Dagger or just pure luck. But, you know, it's an extra chance just to get the surprise attack. And if I, if I decide that I really need the extra 4 attack power, well, we can, um... Put it on in the middle of battle, because switching items in the game, switching items in this game is super easy and I love it. Okay, that's a kind of cool photo. Huh, nice purple dress. Got a cool necklace that looks like a, a something, I'm not sure what, but got some roses, got some peoples. You came for a look at the mural everyone's talking about, too, huh? Well, here it is. I guess it is pretty impressive. I still don't believe all that stuff about it being lucky, though. Hmm. She's not exactly in the best condition. But yes, you're right. She's beautiful. Hmm. What's that around her neck? It looks like some kind of strange key. Ah, <gasps> not just any old strange key. Serena, that's the magic key. I'm sure of it. <sighs> <sighs> Was that your stomach, Veronica? You're hungry again? Sheesh. No, it was not. Maybe if you weren't so clearly distracted by this impressive lady here, you'd realize that didn't sound anything like my tummy rumbling. Oh, oh shut up, you little it. brat. Oh, I saw where your, your stomach's eyes like going. the creature you rising from the me. deep. I've never heard my Ah. There she blows, and just like she looked in my dreams too. This little beauty's gonna make old Bazza rich. Hey, there's plenty of room for everybody to look, you know. Hmm. I know your game, Spikey. Well, you can't keep it all to yourselves, you know. We deserve a chance to get rich too. Stop trying to hog all the good luck, you selfish so-and-sos. Yeah, give someone else a chance to be happy, why don't you? Hmm. Um, I think we should probably leave, don't you? Hmm. Wow. I was pretty keen to see the mural, but clearly not as keen as some. Hmm. What is it? Is there something else worrying you? Huh. So you're looking for this kid's parents, huh? Well, we got nothing better to do. Let's see what we can find. There you are, my trusty <laughs> sidekick! <laughs> Alas, I found no sign of the missing persons in town. Did you have any luck here? 
Hmm, it is a puzzling mystery indeed. Ah, but I am forgetting our young client. A detective cannot leave a child in distress. Come, we must find her. I mean, look, the, the mural's cool and all, and the magic key, uh, apparently they're telling us if we check out the mural, uh, I guess they're still... A horrifyingly otherworldly moaning emanates from within. It must be coming from the people looking at the mural. Uh, okay. But yeah, I was going to say, I guess the magic key on the mural is saying, hey, if we continue down the path, eventually we'll figure out where the magic key is. But uh, it started glowing in the picture. That can't be normal, right? I mean, I don't think paintings are supposed to glow. Did these guys ever make it? No, you never made it. What about the guy on the steps up here? Did he ever make it? I don't know. Uh, the kid has disappeared somewhere. Honey, I've lost the little Dora. First her parents and now her. What's going on in this crazy village? Okay, new plan. We need to team up and lift for her together. The village square is full of people. She went that way, someone will have seen her. Alright, if you're gonna come, let's go. If you're not, just stand around there and don't do anything. It's up to you. Hey, I think that guy made it because he's not here, uh... He's not here dying anymore. Or if he is, I don't remember where he went. Where'd he go? Yeah, the guy that was like dying is gone. I thought this girl might be the one who lost her parents, but I was uh, wrong. Anyway, Serena and the others have headed back towards the village square. You'd probably go and help them look down there. Dora! What a vulgar name! Who, one, is one is most certainly not Dora, and one knows exactly who one's parents are, thank you very much. Okay, it works on Dirk's wife, because she's cute. It does not work on you, because you're like six. So, stop that kid. Bad kid. Bad child. I wonder where the rest of our band of ne'er-do-well party members are hiding out at. Uh, I don't know if Rab ever made it up to the mural, because, you know, he's old and decrepit. But, he might have. No, I think it was just the twins and Eric, yeah. By the way, I think I think uh, Serena has like a crush on Eric because every time every time some some hot chick pops up, she's like, "Oh no, you're staring at him." And yeah, I think if she was like older, she'd have a she, she she'd try to you know talk to Eric. But since she's like 12 or 8 or whatever, it's not happening. Being separated from your parents at that age is hard and lonely. I should know. Let's try and find her mother and father as quickly as we can, shall we? All right, let's do it. Uh. Okay, we're ready to talk to you. Oh! You are visitors here, yes? You come from far, far away? Welcome to Phnom Nun. First, I should introduce myself, I think. My name is Moni, and I am Phnom Nun's number one memorabilia merchant. If you want a souvenir of your trip or some tasty local produce, you must come to me. I have the best deals in town. Uh, it's no good. We've searched high and low, but we can't find her anywhere. The poor little darling has disappeared. Hmm? You are searching for someone, yes? Then you are very lucky. Oh? Do you know how to find people? Yes. Well, no. Not me, but my wife. She is the boss of the inn in this village. She knows everything about people who are coming and going here. Agree to spend the night between our clean and sumptuous sheets, and I'm certain she will share with you her knowledge. You do not need to worry about the cost. The first night, we will offer entirely for free. You are happy with this deal, yes? Sure. Good. Very good. I will tell my wife that you are coming. She will be expecting you whenever you are ready. I thought this was going to be like some shady sales tactic, but considering we're going to be staying there for free, that's not too shabby. Are you guys still just talking about... Yeah, okay, you guys are still just talking about your kids. Or the kid. Let's see. You guys are having fun. That guy's just doing his thing. 
Ever so sorry, we haven't been able to find your friend Dora or her parents anywhere. I thought these children might know her, but they say they never even heard of her. Are you, talk are you just talking to the bunny girl? <laughs> yeah, I was asking around about your little friend Dora, and then this girl came and tried to get me to go to the tavern. And now she won't leave me alone. Anyway, still, still no sign, huh? That's kind of worrying. I hope nothing's happened to her. By the way, how did those guys know you had spiky hair when you had a turban on? Oh, well. You must be tired after sightseeing, I think so. You should come to the tavern as soon as it's open. We have the best food. Look, it is the one you can see over there. Don't not forget to come. I'll give you a big discount. Uh, lady. I appreciate the offer, but unless it involves a puff puff, I'm going to have to say no. Where is Rab, anyways? I don't know where Rab... Oh, here he is. I asked a few of the stall holders about our missing girl, but no one's seen anything. Where could she have got to? I'm starting to get a wee bit worried about her. Yeah, the kid's like a master at disappearing, so I don't know. Anyways, let's go to the inn. Search the inn, and then go to bed, because that sounds good. Sadly, we can't go that way. We can go over here, though. Let's see, we have... Oh, we have enough mini medals for 35, but I think it might be... I don't remember how much it is for the next, uh reward. If you're tired after your trip to see the real, you should sit down and enjoy a freshly cooked meal. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I am going to warp over to the academy, though, and make sure we can't get anything, because we might be able to. Okay, that's the bank and whatnot. That's nice. Hey, hey hello. You crack a guy who knows what he wants. How about it? Puff, private puff puff session just for you? You know it, baby. Alright, here we go. Puff 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 puff. Puff 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 puff. Jigglypuff. I'll do my little puffykins. Aw. His charm increases by five. Yeah, that's nice. What do you think of my makeup skills? That pretty little face here is even prettier now. Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, that's just a permanent plus five for that puff puff. It's just a random permanent plus five for, for soul for doing a puff puff that you're probably going to do anyway. So why is it there? I don't know, but that's awesome that they, gave, they decided to give you a... Uh, a free tiny little stat boost. I thought it was a little later in the game. Uh, I was thinking it was one of the other Puff Puffs, but... Actually, actually no. I originally thought it was that Puff Puff down in... Um, uh, Octagonia. That's the one that I thought it was at first. But no, it was that one right there. So, either way. A free Puff Puff is the best Puff Puff. Especially since, you know, the free Puff Puff also gives you a small stat boost. Why not? Alright, let's see if we have enough for our next reward. We might not, but I'll look anyways. Oh, we do. Cool. Oh, we get the Falcon Blade. Nice. Hey, we get the Falcon Blade. A magnificently magnificent prize indeed. And then 45, we get the Agility Gillette. Uh, the Falcon Blade is a pretty cool one-handed sword that attacks twice every time you attack with it, so it's real nice if you are doing one-handed swords, so real nice. And then it's... where is it? Uh, um, I think this right here is Falcon Slash? Oh no, Falcon Slash is right here. And I think with the Falcon Blade, Falcon Slash would hit four times. So it would be doing pretty good damage right there on your main hand. Your offhand would still probably not be doing a whole lot, but still, four times damage is not too shabby. By the way, I'm trying to remember what this is, and I don't remember. Let me go look. Oh yeah, that's actually, that's actually a really good ability, but um, it's expensive to get to because you have to unlock all these, which includes that and that right there. It's a good ability. It's called uh, Sword Swords Dance, and it targets a group of enemies and does four hits on random enemies. So it's kind of like a uh, actually is it three or four? Hang on. Yeah, it is four hits. So it's basically it's basically a multi multi thrust from Jade, except for either swords or great swords. It can be used on either one, so it's real nice. Uh, down here is Miracle Slash, so it recovers some of the damage that you do with your attack right there, which was which with a falcon blade would actually probably be not too shabby. And then way down here, which we haven't even looked at for half the game, uh, right here, this is actually an excellent ability called Pep Up. It automatically peps soul up. The problem is, I think it costs something like 18 or 25 skill points to learn. Let me see. 
yeah, 25 skill points to learn plus whatever. Uh, it looks like it looks like 24 to get. Yeah, all the panels around this cost eight, so it's a minimum of 24 and 25 to learn, so a minimum of like 49 skill points to learn. But way later in the game, this is beautiful because you can just automatically put Soul into Pep State. Real nice. Let's see, Eric, you're good for the most part. Uh, you have eight points. Uh, I don't really care about the dodge chance. It's not bad, but rent, honestly, I'd rather have the agility, agility, and this right here, which gives you an ability to increase your dodge. So, not bad. Veronica, you got 11 points. Uh, we don't really care about Beazle Freeze, but the rest of it, Anti-Magic, uh, Magical Might, Staff of Salvation, MP and MP, it's good stuff. So we might as well grab this. I'll worry about the extra damage reduction skill right here later. I'm not terribly worried about it right now. Serena, you're set. Savando, you got four points, but um, we don't have anything to give you right now, so... You're going to have to deal with it. Jade, you got eight points. Let's see. Nine. That's right. You need one more. Rab, you got seven. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna get to Zing Stick here sooner rather than later. Oh, that's right. I went over here to unlock Caster Sugar for him. That's what it was. Which I completely forgot to use in the boss fight against the damn bird, but whatever. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and dash back over to Phnom Nam here. Alright, and let's go stay at the inn and go from there. And after that, we'll go explore the runes. And the runes will probably take another... The runes will probably take a while to explore... So, potentially two episodes to finish the runes, because they're reasonably big, and you have to do all this stuff outside of the runes before you actually get in there and, you know, start doing stuff. Let's see, we've already... I think we've explored everything else up here, so our only thing to do is to... Well, go to bed. Oh, you're the bank. No, not you. My husband told me all about you. So you'll be saying tonight? Hmm, a little girl who's lost. Uh, why are you asking me? My husband said, what? That I know everything about everyone? Ah, he will say anything to attract customers, that one. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I don't know anything about your missing girl. Please do not be angry. I'll let you stay one night for free, and everything will be all right. In fact, I have a room that is ready for you right now. Sure, let's go. Thank you very, very much. This right this way, please. Granted, your husband already told us we could stay for free, but whatever. Good morning, sir. You slept very well last night. Please have a good day. By the way, do you know a man named Baza? He's also a guest here, not returning last night. He was very keen indeed to see the mural. I hope he did not injure himself in his haste to get there. You too must be careful. Okay. So let's go check on Baza since... He probably slept at the mural to like bathe in the luck or something like that. I don't know. That's my best guess. You had a comfortable night in our inn, I think so? You're always welcome to stay with us again. Hmm? The little girl who's lost? Ah, yes, of course. I'm sorry. I do not know anything. I'm sure my wife can help you. People become lost in phenomenon every day. You should think you found in the last place you saw them. Okay. Hey, did this guy give up on the, um... I think that, I think that guy might have just given up on the... Going up to the, uh... The mural here. Oh, you're, that's right, you're the selling chick. Have you heard of the Academy? It's a simply wonderful school for the turning little girls into exquisite young ladies is off to the north of here somewhere. One has always dreamed of going there. In fact, one has never wanted anything more. Which is why one was desperate to stay home and revise, but Papa insists that we come here instead. Revise? What do you mean, like, revise? Like, study? I guess. Alright, let's go check on the uh, people at the the ruins here. See if anything pops up. Oh, there's door. Where was she staying at? 
Did she just like sleep underneath that tree like somewhere? Like make a blanket of leaves and we just didn't see her? Huh. I have no idea. Also, where's all the where's all the tourists that are out here? They were out here last night when we left, so I don't think they went inside to look at the mural, but they might have. I don't know. Wait a minute. Are there more people in the mural? I think so, actually. Huh. And some of them seem to look kind of familiar. Hmm? Hmm, honey, there's nobody here. I thought you said you saw Dora come this way. If she did, she's disappeared into thin air. Are you sure? How strange. The mural. It's different from the last time we were here. Uh, am I going crazy? Or were those people not there yesterday? And doesn't that one look a whole lot like that Baza guy, the grumpy one? The lady at the inn said he didn't come back last night. I've got a bad feeling about this. We need to get out of here now! <laughs> This is not good. Uh, it won't open. Well, the mural. What the? What is this place? It feels like we're dreaming, but we're not. Right? No, we're... I think we're... inside the mural. Uh... Um... That doesn't make any sense. Is this what happened to little Dora too? Oh, that poor, poor thing. <gasps> All right, listen up. We've got a little girl to save. Let's go to work. <clears throat> the other side. Yeah, we are, we're trapped inside a, a mural. Which really reminds me of the mural enemies from Blue Dragon. But sadly, there's no mural enemies in here. It's just we're trapped in the mural, so... Yeah, sadly, they missed the opportunity to have really cool murals in here, but, oh well. Let's see, local monsters, we got a couple new guys here. Let's see, I know what a couple of them are off the top of my head. Ooh, liquid, liquid metal slimes appear here. If we manage to find a couple of those, that'd be fantastic, but I'm going to ignore these guys, because we already talked to them. And instead, let's see what's going on with these guys praising the hey, statue. Look. It's our pal Baza. Or mural. Hey. I said hey! What's with all the waving around? Yes. What are they all doing, I wonder? And what about this mural? It's the same as the one from the ruins. Who exactly is she? <gasps> huh. I don't know, but she's a charmer, all right. She's certainly got this lot under her spell. 
<laughs> Does my beauty not captivate you too, child? Perhaps when you were a little older. <gasps> Why so confused, little ones? I am here. Right here. <sighs> Wait, look. The mural! It, it's... alive! Let me see now. Red, orange, yellow, green... <laughs> yes! All the colors of the rainbow! The seven of you will be very welcome here! Especially... you. There's something... Different about you. Something particularly vibrant. Now come, little ones. Brighten my world. Let me squeeze the color from you as I did the others. Let me add you to my masterpiece. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> you will soon see. You will soon be immortalized in vivid streaks of color. <laughs> no, no, wait. Everyone, come back. Okay, you don't need to tell me what a bad idea this is, but we need to find Dora. Come on, let's go grab her and get out of here. Yeah, forget about Bazda and those other chumps. Nobody cares about them. I don't think we can... I don't know if we can ever actually get over there to where they're hanging out at. Actually, I don't think I ever noticed that they were hanging out over there. Huh. Okay. Well, that sounds like a them problem. Over there, too, sounds like a them problem. I don't know if they're the same people. They might be different people. I don't know. Yeah, I think I don't think those are the same group of people that we just saw right here. But I wonder how many people have been trapped into this mural and just never gotten out. And there's so many tourists that come through here that, uh, you know, they're just like, eh, whatever, we don't care. We're not gonna, we're not gonna notice if one or two doesn't stay the night at the inn or whatever. Hello, Mr. Droll. And you, Mr. Corporal, we want to get rid of you, because you suck. Uh, let's get rid of Eric for you. That way we can do some do sapping. Eh? Alright, let's get going here. Alright, so, Droll Diabolist. Uh, let's go ahead and multi-thrust Mr. Corporal here, so he doesn't do any cursing or other stupid stuff that I'd rather not have to deal with. And start booming. Just to get him out of the way. Yeah, goodbye. Okay. You guys didn't put up a fight. I'll be okay with that. Let's see. Do you guys have anything worthwhile for drops? Magic water and Sage's Elixir. Well, that's really nice, actually. I think Sage's Elixir is... Wait, isn't Sage's Elixir a full heal magic item? I think it might be. Let me check. Nope, it's a 90 magic heal. I'm thinking of Elfin Elixir. That's the uh, full heal for the magic. Fair enough. You, let's go. Hypothermians. They look kind of cool, I guess, but... Uh, I don't think these guys are terribly dangerous, except for, you know, that... Yeah, other than that, they're not terribly, terribly interested. Let's, let's try to fizzle them so they can't uh, do that again. Yeah, if we can get them to not cast whack on us, that'd be fantastic. Oh, it's not showing the thing off to the side right there. That's a shame. Uh, let's see. I Actually, you guys are probably demons, not undead. I. 
I never actually did check to see what those brawl, uh, the brawlies were. What type of, um, enemy variety they were. But we'll look at that one of those. You just backhanded my healer. Okay, stop whacking me. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. Uh... Try not to die to this. Okay, good. You defend. You... Find Zing on you. Luckily, whenever we try to revive Mr. Soul, he revives pretty fast for the most part, so I'm okay with that. There we go. Too many enemies have access to whack these days. Alright, let's see. Local monsters, Brawlygegger... Material, okay. That makes sense. You guys are undead, and yeah, you guys are demon. Okay, f fair enough. I don't know why the snails are considered undead, but whatever. And look, there's a giant treasure chest here for some reason. Let's open it up. It's probably nothing dangerous like a colossal can of box. Yes, yeah, it's just a big can of box. Uh, frankly, these this particular one isn't as dangerous, it seems like, from the other ones, but it does have Kasnooz, which is pretty dangerous. Okay, fair enough. Actually, I'm kind of curious what the can of boxes are classified as. Like, are they just classified as demons or whatever? Get crit. Luckily, these guys don't give that much in the way of experience, so even if Veronica doesn't get revived, she's not going to miss out on a whole bunch. Stop snoozing me. Okay, we're asleep. There you go. Wake up. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and unbridle Blade. If Serena wakes up to get her sister revived, great. And if not, well, we'll survive. Yeah, that hurt. Ooh, we're pepped up. Nice. I might try to save um, her pep up for uh, trying to summon a metal slime in here. That'd be nice. 1500, that's not too shabby. Serena gets a level. I don't think we have enough for. Yeah, five points isn't enough for your other stuff. We need, like, more, so... Oh, well. A Pepilon Pendant, which I think has some pretty good... Um... Status protection stuff here. Yeah, MP draining. Okay, it's not the one I was thinking of, but... Extra HP, MP defense... Eh, it's not too bad, but... I thought it was one of the confusion or something. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Local monsters. Yeah, it's not going to show the... It's not going to show the, um... The mimic here, but whatever. Let's see. Hypothermian, purple eyes, hate of magic. That's cool. I want to see if we can't... Let's see. Defeated monster list. Uh, I wonder if... I was, thinking, I was thinking they might be in there. Material family... Okay, yeah, they're materials. Colossal can of box. They have stuff that's not terribly worth it to steal, but hey, it's there. And then can of box just has the, uh, the one steal. Whatever. Yeah, I do want... I do want Rab to be at level 30 before the boss, because that'd be very nice. So if I have to, I'm, I might have to do a little bit of grinding to get it, but I'm okay with that. I'm less okay with these stairs that we gotta keep jumping up like chumps, but whatever. And this guy, this guy is pretty cool. Jacquees, yeah. It's a giant four eyes, a giant four armed cyclops. Cause uh, why not? Um, that's right. I want to change you out so we can get your get your other stuff ready. And actually, yeah, we basically need. Actually, no, you're not. You're not part of. You're not part of. Electrolyte. That's 
that's uh, Savando, Eric. No, no. No. Electrolyte is. Who the fuck is it? Yeah, it's, it's uh, Soul, Eric, and. So, yeah, Soul, Eric, and. Uh, either Savando or Jade. I don't remember, but either way. We're fine. Uh, sap your defense into Sorry. the bottom there. And unbridled blade this guy into the nether regions. Yeah, boy. Do do level 31. Boom. Which is nice for attacking everybody, but I'm not going to use it that often, but it's there. Uh, let's see. Character builder, soul. No, you're good. Salvando, so nine points. You need 10, right? Yeah, you need 10 for that. Even though we are. Um. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, yeah. Soul, Savando, Jade. So we just need to get Soul pepped up. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And then Mr. Jockalese, what do you got, buddy? Anything worthwhile? Finescence, Seed of Defense. Um, trying to remember the other. Oh, I know, I know the other enemy in here is. It's one of those. Um, we haven't seen it yet, but it's one of those. One of those mannequin type enemies? Yeah, it's one of those. Safe at all. What the heck is it? Watch out! It's looking this way! So this... thing has been luring folks in here so can have them for dinner, eh? Oh, lucky old us. to run right now <laughs> run 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 fast as we can I don't think the uh, next enemy is actually into like the next little part of this dungeon because we're gonna we're gonna escape the dungeon and then come back in in a minute or maybe not a minute but soon It's a message. It seems to have been written by the person who discovered the mural. I have found a great fresco in the ruins near Phnomnon. It seems to be several centuries old. It has a strange power. At first I thought it was a power for good. That this was how people had been drawn here. How the town had grown great. But now I see that it is evil. That it lures the greedy with promises of riches so that it might feast on their souls. And those too pure of heart to tempt with greed, it lures through pity. Beware the little lost girl. She will lead you to your doom. The little lost girl. 
Dora. Hmm. So this whole thing was just some elaborate trap? Well, that's just great. I think it's time to get out of here, don't you? It's been time to get out of here. And yeah, apparently Dora is uh, trying to get us in trouble here, so that's great. Could this be... It is! It's the crack we saw when we first went to look at the mural. I think she's right, you know. This could be our way out of here. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Here goes nothing. Well, I've made more graceful entrances. Is everybody okay? More or less. Anyway, I'm just glad we got out of there. We have to let everyone know the truth about the mural. Come on, let's get back to the village. Can we tell you guys out here or you guys don't care? I'm not terribly worried about telling them about it yet. Uh, one has only come here in order to pay for one's beloved daughter's good fortune in her school entrance exam. The journey here was quite frightful. Still, it helps one's little princess get the mark she deserves. It'll all been worth it. Oh, so you must be her father and that's where she learned to talk like that. Fair enough. Hey, is that who I think it is? And yeah, there's very subtle hints about that being the um, the girl in the photo because you know same color hair, same same color dress. So very subtle, but uh, if you're paying attention, you can notice it. Well, look who it is. <laughs> well, that sounds yes, wonderful. Yes, you should. Right. Well, um. Mm. I had heard rumors about the mural. That's why I'm here, to be honest. But can what you just told me really be true? <laughs> yes! It's true, it's true! The big painting cured me! All I had to do was look at it. It will do the same for you, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I suppose I'd better go and take a look right away then. <laughs> Thank you, young lady. <laughs> Another satisfied customer, huh, young lady? Another lamb to the slaughter, more like. <gasps> but how? I had you in my clutches. You should be part of my masterpiece by now. You've lured your last unwitting victim into that painting of yours. You must go back and let them all out this instant. You can't keep all those poor people trapped in there. Come on, there's no point playing innocent anymore. Just let everyone go, will you? I think she lost it. Let them go? When my great work is so close to completion? Fools! Thanks to the gift of that greatest of beings, 
I have the power to paint their memories onto the very canvas of time! There is only one way you will convince me to release them. Come to my world! Bring it to life with the bright brushstrokes of battle! Wait! Before you go, this greatest of beings, who do you mean exactly? <laughs> well, I for one don't intend to let her get away with this. Come on, let's get back to that mural. I wish they had made mural monsters for this game, like Dra uh, Blue Dragon. I mean, even if they had just copied and pasted them from Blue Dragon, I would have been fine with that, because those that was a really cool variety of monster, at least design-wise, in my opinion. So, either way, uh, real fast, though, we're going to go ahead and... Well, I'm going to go ahead and get Soul nice and pepped up here, and then we're going to go try and fight some uh, Metal Slime. So we're going to see how we're going to see if that works or not. So, yeah. I will take my time getting soul pepped up, and I'll be back eventually. So, you're right back. Okay, I would just like to say that my entire party, except for soul, is pepped up, and this guy refuses to get into pep. So, come on, soul, I'm waiting for you, damn it. I finally got him pepped up. It took another, like, five turns after that last little bit. Alright, so. I'm going to go ahead and save and whatnot because there's a chance that it's not going to summon the Metal Slimes and that'd be less than great, so whatever. Um, what are you telling me on the forge, my good sir? Multi-Bash. Multi-Bash is actually an awesome little ability because it hits random squares, so it's not always perfect, but it works out pretty good. Like, if we wanted to try to rework, like, the Falcon Blade or something like that, it would probably work out pretty well. Um, hmm. You know what? For shits and giggles, it's not going to work, but I'm going to try to do the Glumbrella here. And let's see here. I think. Let's see. Flourishes. Multi-Bash. Yeah, it's only seven, too, so it's real nice. So let's do Sizzly and Sizzly. And yeah, let's go multi bash. And yeah, it does random a random amount on each one. So it's nice. And each one can be crits. So if it works, great. If it doesn't, well, we tried. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Really well. Nice. Okay. Uh, that's plus two, so sure. I don't think we're going to get plus three if unless we try again, but still. Nice. Yeah, multi-bash is pretty sweet for the most part. It just helps out with random hits that do uh, nice little bits of extra chance for crits, so it's nice. Um, I think we're fine without the extra two magical bending because of how many pearls it takes, but... <clears throat> I will happily take that. There we go. Uh, let's see. Was there anything here from you that I wanted? Uh, I think we're good for the most part. Alright, uh, let's go save up here. Let's get rid of that one right there. And let's go try to find an enemy and hope for the best. Let's see. So we want line up soul. Uh, Savando and Jade. There we go. And actually, you know what? I just realized something. We could use the the Falcon Blade for Savando. And that would be a nice little upgrade. Yeah, we lose the charm, but the two hits is nice. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, let's do that. All 
Alright, uh, let's see, Sizzly Puff here. Another Sizzly Puff, just to be on the safe side. Double on the next bash right there. That's multi. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice little start right there. Alright, uh, let's see, go there. Halved, okay. Let's see, lightning bash on you. Really well, okay. Another plus two on the Falcon Blade. By the way, I went ahead and did a quick test to see if the double attack worked on uh, abilities like Flame Slash. It does not. So, I was gonna, like, respec into... I was going to respec into Metal Slash on the one-handed sword tree for Mr. Soul, uh, not you, uh, for Mr. Soul there, and see if we could, like, get a whole bunch of extra attacks on Metal metal Attack there, but uh, it doesn't work that way, sadly. Oh, well. Um, oh, wow, you're slightly weaker. Let's see, 55, 60. And then again, the Platinum Sword is pretty good. But we'll lose a little bit of charm, but I think we'll be fine. This is going to be fine for slime hunting. Uh, let's resave to be on the safe side here, because uh, why not? And hope for the best. Alright, let's go find ourselves an enemy here. By the way, it doesn't matter which enemy you, you fight, if there's one or four or whatever, as soon as you use the electrolyte, they all get replaced with whatever the uh, the monster is. Uh, I'm going to not use you first, Jade, because I want you to be able to be used for thunder thrusting. So let's go with you, electrolyte. Yeah, and if it doesn't work, we get machine monsters that are dangerous. And in that case, we reset and try again. I can't wait. Presto. Introduce. Yay! So pretty. All right, so that's uh fourteen thousand. If we can kill them all, keyword there being if. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and get the liquid metal here. He's the one that we care about. Okay, he's actually staying. That's fantastic. He stays. And okay, so that's 12,000. But still, that's pretty good. Liquid metal. I like how we have the option to attack Veronica since she's, um. Since she is. Confused. Sometimes multi thrust really works really good on these guys for the multiple hits, but other times it does not work out as well as I would like like that, so. There we go. That's at least 10,000 right there. That's not a whole lot, but I'll take it. I mean, it is a whole lot, but Things still. are looking up. Jade gets the level. Nice. Eric gets the level. Nice. Rab gets level 29. Let's see here. Miscellaneous. Let's see. Eric, you got 13 points. Yeah, let's grab dodgy character there. Nice. Let's see. Savando, you're good. Jade. Yeah, let's grab that strength. And there we go. Now this is her lightning thrust, which is basically a more accurate version of thunder thrust. So, yeah, this is 50% accuracy. This is like 65 or 70, I think. So, a little better. A little more expensive, but usually pretty worth it. Usually pretty worth it. Let's go down here for your magical mending. And I do want Rab to get one more level. Uh, let's see. How are you on experience? Uh, 9,000. Hmm... Yeah, because at level 30, he learns multi-heal, and having a second character that can heal everybody at once will be real nice for the upcoming battle, or the upcoming boss battle. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to see if I can get another Electrolyte, and take care of it right now, so I'll be right back. 
All right, that went into pep pretty fast there. That worked out pretty good. <clears throat> you were that guy. But if you worried about the, Actually, that, that guy's probably the easiest guy to to sit there and get your pep up against around here, because with the Zuminis they have their multi hit or whatever. Uh, those guys have their instant kill spell. But what I did was I put in all my mages and drained his magic with drain magic and just attacking him. And it turned out he only had like 30 MP to drain anyway. So two drain magics and then a couple attacks. Uh, drained him of all his MP anyways, and then all he could do was regular physical attacks, so it worked out pretty good. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's rest up, just be on the safe side. And then we're going to go ahead and try to grab this um, other level here. You don't have to do this, but I really, really recommend you do this if you're on harder monsters mode, because I think the boss will get like three turns in a row, and lots of status ailments, and you're going to want to be able to heal through all that stuff, so... That's just my opinion. I mean, you don't have to, but... I'm just recommending it to get Rab up to level 30. Alright, so let's go find and murder something. How you doing, boss? Let's go. Okay. Right, I don't care who goes, as long as somebody goes. Uh, yeah, screw it. This this will survive. Yeah. Right, we're gonna skip it. Okay. Ooh, three metal slot, three liquid metals. That's beautiful. Okay, let's all start working on A here. Nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, I need to get off of a uh, fast battle speed here. If I manage to kill all these, oh, that would be the most beautiful thing ever. Uh, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. So, as long as I kill one. If I kill two, that's even better, but if I kill more, oh, that's even better. Uh, let's see. Sa By the way, you can't sap these guys, so... Oh, well. Uh, I'm gonna try a Thunder Thrust on you. Yes, that's 10,000 right there. Awesome. Even if I don't kill anything else, that's 10,000. That's all I need for Rab. And these guys are not running away, which is... Well, okay, I was gonna say great, but, you know, he ran away, so, come on, 50-50, 20,000 experience, oh, it's so beautiful, that is a level for everybody, I don't care what level they are, dun, 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 dun. 32, nice, 13 skill points, so Vando gets the level, 13 skill points, Jade gets the level, two levels, nice, nine, Told you I was tough. Veronica gets two levels, okay, Beautiful. Eric gets a level. Nice. Serena gets a level. Nice. Rab gets a level. Nice. And he gets multi-heal. Yeah, we have multiple, uh, multiple, multiple healings. A spatter of molten globules. That's used for way later crafting stuff. That's fantastic. Okay, so we got 13 points here. Uh, I, I really want these right here. A Giga Smash or a Strength Plus 25. Those are real nice. Um, I'm tempted to get Frost Fangs just to show it off, but at the same time, it's just not that... It, it's not necessary, that's the problem. Um, I'm tempted to unlock my way over to this right here, but I don't know if we'd have enough to get it. Because what we would have to do is we'd have to go spec through here, grab this, and what we could do is unspec out of swords again, get all those points back, and then put the rest over here. Let's see. Yeah, we would probably end up missing out on... something. I'll think about it, but for now, let's just ignore it. We got five points. We need five more points for that. You got 16 points, that's good. Anti-magic is okay, but so is just the extra... You know we have enough for uh, we have enough for the MP recovery and also the the uh, anti magic right here. There we go. High chance of uh, stopping the enemy. It's basically fizzle, I guess. But I don't know. I, I don't think I ever used it that much. I'm trying to remember if I did, but I can't remember. Um, let's just go with the extra magical mending for now. That's fine. Good enough. There we go. Savando. 
trying to remember if that's even worth it. Hang on. Actually, no, that's just Beguilement, so it's not really worth it. Yeah, it's just Beguilement. Uh, let's see, Evasion, evasion to Attacks. That is good, but honestly, I'd be doing other stuff with Savanda for the most part. So let's just give him Charm plus 20 or 10. Uh, work on the stats and then ignore that, because yeah, that's just a uh, chance to beguile a single enemy based on his charm stat. So it's not as good as I was. Um, I think I might have been thinking it was something else, but yeah, this is also an average ability. It's kind of like multi thrust, except way, way weaker. Okay, maybe not way, way weaker. It's uh, six hits on a group of enemies at half strength. So about three times damage. So slightly weaker than multi thrust, but really it's probably about as good for bosses as anything, really. Let's see, and then you got 12 points to spend on. Oh, we need four more for lightning thrust. I'm not really caring about the agility. And this right here, that's the vacuum smash, which is the uh, multi target group spell. So good stuff. And then Rab. Ah, uh, we need two more for Zynga Stick. Oh well. Honestly, with the experience we'll get, get in the in the area, we might get that level for Rab to get that too. But I'm not terribly worried about it. The main thing is multi heal is awesome. And next episode, we're gonna go into the painting, the mural, and try to clobber Little Miss. Uh, Mural, who, you know, we figured out is Dora, so her name is Dora, and we're going to go clobber her and tell her to stop putting people in her paintings. So, yeah. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.